so here's another video uh, somebody asks somebody asked me on YouTube what happens if you unwrap your model in 3ds Max and export it to uh, ZBrush and subdivide it there if it still keeps the UV map in its place where it should be as a low poly so yeah it does so let me just show you I'm just gonna use a simple box and then convert it to Airtable Poly unwrap UV modifier and as I can see with these green fucking lines that uh, this uh, model is being unwrapped already so I'm just gonna create a mesh out of it and remove UVs and convert it to Airtable Poly and then just select this this uh, edges and convert them to seams and then just peel it and open the unwrap modifier will be opened and then just resize it R on the keyboard and reset it a little bit more holding control and then just right click on it and collapse it and then just go Z and go ZBrush and it's gonna to import into ZBrush and I'm just gonna control uh, shift D to duplicate it just to show you uh, the difference between when we go down to geometry and have the smooth turned on if we subdivide it we can see the, our model gets really uh, transformed and even though this is really not uh, anymore looking as a cube if we go down to UV map and click on morph UV we can see the UV map still uh, was kept intact with all the new polygons uh, created and if we go back to our basic shape and then go down to geometry and turn off smooth and subdivide it and then go to UV map and morph UVs we can see it's the same so no matter how the different how the subdividing the model uh, affects the shape of your sub tool the UV map it's gonna stay intact so this is it for answering question from our viewer on YouTube